everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe so today I want to talk about my experience in Ibiza so me and my friend decided to go to Ibiza on one of our longer trips um, two summers ago it was in close proximity to some other countries that we went to so we decided that it would be a good experience if we tried it out this suggested itinerary is going to be a mixture of partying because apparently that's what you do in Ibiza and sightseeing so we combined the two so that we weren't just drunk the entire time we actually wanted to see some of the island as well <laughs> so in order to fly into Ibiza you have to fly into Barcelona so Ibiza is actually an island off of Spain we were coming from Amsterdam so we flew from Amsterdam to Barcelona then to Ibiza Again, when you're in Europe, flights are really cheap compared to, I guess, anywhere else in the world. They are going to be under $100. I think we got ours for maybe 50, if I'm not mistaken, but they are relatively affordable. However, when you get to Ibiza, everything there is really expensive. It is a tourist hotspot. The prices are very inflated and just everything's expensive. So we tried to be as budget friendly as possible, but you can only be as budget friendly as possible to a certain extent. So we decided to only stay for three nights because I think that's all you need in Ibiza unless you're spending like a March break there and like you really enjoy it but in order to like get everything from Ibiza and experience it three nights was really good enough so we flew in on day one we arrived we checked into our hotel we stayed at Hotel Marigna it was the cheapest yet nicest for the money that you could get. It was around $70 a night, so split between the two of us, we paid $35 a night, which was not bad. When we first went into our hotel, the room kind of smelt funky because it wasn't like, it didn't have a balcony. So we went to the front desk and we complained about it. And so they ended up switching us to a room that did have a balcony. There was no problems with it. It was beautiful. And um, for our troubles, they actually gave us free passes to one of the popular nightclubs as well. So that was pretty amazing. So day one, we were really tired because we just had come from Amsterdam and we were doing a lot of flying in the middle of the night. So we decided to walk to the beach, which was just like a 10 minute walk from Hotel Marigna and pass out there. So we took a nap on the beach, whatever, suntanned, and then we started to get hungry. So we walked to a close Mexican restaurant, which was called Casa Mexicana. Again, the prices are not cheap, but they weren't that expensive. No, they're mid-range but the Mexican food there was amazing the drinks were amazing it's rare that you're gonna find bad food on Ibiza it was our intention to go partying that night but then we found the old market and we enjoyed walking around the old market so much and we met new friends they took us on a walking tour to show us everything and it was so great that we were like you know what we don't need a party tonight we went to this place in the old market it was called lusty ice and they're smoothie popsicles. They tasted really amazing. What drew people to them is because they were shaped like penises and vaginas. I looked it up and they are permanently closed, which is devastating because the people that own that place were really cool and the popsicles were actually like, they tasted amazing and it was really hot there. So I ate like three. <laughs> the area is mostly like white cobblestone. So it's very beautiful and nice to walk around. I don't know how to say this, but the vibes there were just welcoming and it felt like I wanted to move there for the rest of my life. So then we hung around there a bit and then some other people we met wanted to take us to see the Ibiza castle. It's this beautiful castle where I guess they used to use it for military reason so you walk up there and once you get to the top you can see a beautiful landscape of almost the entire island okay so then we got a good night's sleep so that we were ready to go the next day there are i guess like tourism booths everywhere it looks like they're just selling tickets to clubs but they're actually just like a whole tourism booth so like randomly on the corners of streets you'll see these things you can also bargain with them because it is really expensive so if you get two things you can ask for a deal or you can ask them for the best deal that they, they can do so what we wanted was a ferry ticket to Formentera, which is another small island off of um, Ibiza. 
which is very beautiful. So we wanted to see that. And we also wanted a um, pass to go to the beautiful people boat party the next day. We had already gotten a free ticket to enter Pacha, um, which is a popular European club from our hotel for free. The ferry pass we got with a company called Transmappy. It was around $40 each. And the beautiful people boat party was around a hundred dollars each. So then we took the ferry to Formentera. Make sure you're not late for your ferry because it will leave without you. I guess you can use your ticket for any of the times that it comes. We took it from Port de Visa. So we had to take a taxi there because it was um, relatively far from our hotel. You want to be part of this? You want to go to Ibiza? It's a great place for dogs. Um, so we took the ferry to Formentera and when you get to Formentera, you can either rent scooters, you can rent a car, you can rent bikes, or you could just take a taxi to one of the beaches. Any beach you choose is gonna be absolutely spectacular. We asked our taxi driver to take us to a more seclusive one, just so that there's space on the beach. The water there, I've never seen more crystal clear water in my life, and it was not too cold, it was not too hot, it was a perfect temperature, and it was just, the most beautiful beach I have ever seen. Um, we ate at the restaurant that was right on the beach. Um, it was really expensive. All I got was a, a mozzarella and tomato salad and it was like almost $20. So there was no other food around. So we had to eat there and I was really starving. So again, Formentera is really expensive as well. That's why we just took a day trip there instead of sleeping there. We were gonna sleep there one night, but the hotel prices there were absolutely ridiculous. We walked around old Formentera and saw the little town there. There's, It's not that big and there's not that much to see, but Again, it was nice vibes and it was beautiful. So, and then we went down to the port and watched the sunset. So that was nice. And then we took the ferry home and then the parties in Ibiza start relatively late. So regardless of the fact that we got back to Ibiza at like 10 o'clock, we still had tons of time to go out. So that's the night we went to Pacha. The thing that I would recommend is that if you don't like 70s music, don't go to 70s night at Pacha. We made the mistake of going to 70s night at Pacha. It was still a good party, but again, the vibes were more like 70s. I didn't experience anything that I have experienced in Toronto with like fighting and stuff like that. I guess everyone's just chill. They're on an island and they're there to have a good time. We drank a lot. And then we passed out back the hotel and then woke up the next morning with a massive hangover. And then we decided that it was a great idea to go to the boat party while we were really hungover. You know, take a boat out to the middle of the ocean while it sways and you're really hungover. So for the boat party, they have a meetup spot. So we took a taxi there. Taxi is like the main form of transportation there. Uh, we didn't have data on our phones to connect to an Uber or anything. So maybe that would be cheaper, but the taxis are relatively like the same price. So with the boat party ticket, you get unlimited alcohol for free. So at the meetup spot, they were like pumping us full of shots. And then we all walked as a herd to where the boat took off. And then you get on the boat, there's a bunch of cool things you can do on the boat. It kind of just like sails off to sea. Am I using that terminology correctly? And then it anchors itself so that like you're all partying in the same spot. They release dinghies out into the water that were like flamingos. So it, like it was a struggle to get on those things that you don't even understand, especially when you're drinking to pull yourself up on a massive swan. Um, they also have banana tubing and uh, you can go on the jet skis as well. So all that is included in the boat party. The boat party was actually amazing. I know a lot of people complain about it on TripAdvisor, but I had a great experience. It was really fun. There's a guy that's constantly pouring champagne all over you, one of the guys that works there like he's popping champagne and throwing it all over you you get completely drenched with champagne and foam and you're slipping and sliding everywhere because the boat is like swaying but like again it's messy 
but it's a great time. We met some really nice people on the boat. So when the boat actually docked and we were starving, so we went to the closest restaurant um, where the boat docked. They bought us a lot of wine and we had a very excellent dinner. So the place where the restaurant was was actually a great place to watch the sunset. So we stayed there, hung out with them and watched the sunset. And then we were exhausted from partying the night before and partying that entire afternoon and morning. So then we went back to our hotel at nighttime, had a good sleep and flew the next day to Morocco. So I think that is my entire experience with Ibiza. If you have any questions of anything that I missed that you want to know about Ibiza, please leave them in the comment section below. In terms of the people on Ibiza, a lot of them are tourists and immigrants. Don't think I met any Spanish people. All of them were people from different countries that had migrated there and opened up a business and decided to live the Ibiza life. But again, the vibes were absolutely amazing. I wanna move there one day, but it's too expensive, so. Maybe not. <laughs> That's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.